Hey everybody, so I got tagged to do a video and it's called the 8 things I'll never do tag and I was tagged by naturally thrifty mom So thank you so much for tagging me um, So yeah, I just sat down and tried to think about eight things that I believe I will never do in my lifetime um, And it was actually more difficult than I thought and my answers are pretty random But yeah, I came up with eight and obviously this is not meant to offend anybody if you guys do these things or intend on doing these things These are just eight things. I don't think or believe that I will be doing in my lifetime. So, number one, and I've heard a lot of people that did this tag says said this as well, and I am strongly agreeing, and that is I will never skydive or bungee jump or anything where the dropping feeling is involved. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like, it's not that I don't like heights in general, like I can go up on a tall building or something like that and be totally fine. I can be in an airplane, I'm not a huge fan of airplanes, but I can be in airplanes and be fine. I just don't like that feeling of free falling. It is just absolutely one of the worst feelings to me in the entire world. By far my biggest fear in life is like, I don't know why this scenario always comes to my head, but I always have like nightmares that some of my friends or maybe even enemies, it depends. Anyways, they hijack me and they take me up in a plane and they're like, you are going to skydive. You don't have a choice. This is, you're all buckled up. You're gonna do it. And I pretty much faint from um, fear. So I would rather not be awake for the whole situation than actually have to endure the process of falling. So it's a huge fear of mine. So no, I will never be doing anything like that. Number two, I will never, and I wanted to say eat seafood, but that's kind of a, it's a very wide range of things, and I'm sure like seafood can be mixed into things, and I would have no idea. So I picked one seafood item in particular, and that is crab. I will never eat crab. Um, I, like I said, I don't like seafood in general, but crabs actually freak the heck out of me. I don't like them as creatures. I don't like, I like the beach but I'm always on the lookout for crabs. And if I see crabs, I head the other direction. And if like kids are playing with crabs, it totally freaks me out. I don't really like swimming in the ocean because of crabs. Um, yeah, they're one of my biggest fears. I have a number of fears, which you'll see in this video, but I'm scared of crabs and I don't like seafood. So I can guarantee you, I will never eat crab. Um, okay, this third one I actually stole from Naturally Thrifty Mom when I was watching her video. And that is, I will never intentionally be mean or rude to somebody via social media. So what I mean by that is, I will never sit down and if I don't like somebody's video, comment about how much I don't like them or their video or just be rude about it. Or even like through Facebook, if I don't like somebody's status or anything like that, Instagram, things like that. Um, I don't know, I just find there's so many great people out there and then there's so many, not so many, but there are a number of people who just speak their mind, I guess, or have no filter. And if that's you, that's cool. But as somebody who creates content um, and has dealt with that in the past, I just know how it can affect someone. And I could just, honestly, I could just never see myself actually typing that out and sending it off and feeling okay about that. If I come across a video or Facebook status or anything like that online that I don't approve of or don't like, I generally just move on to the next thing. Um, I don't ever take the time to write something nasty to someone or be mean in a comment or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't think that'll ever be me. Like I said, if I don't like it, I just forget about it and move on. Um, the next one, I will never hold a tarantula. Along with my fears, and I have a lot of them, spiders are huge. I'll never hold any spider, but I know that like at some amusement parks and or zoos and stuff like that, you can actually, you know, hold a tarantula that I won't even be in a room if a tarantula is out and about, like not in a cage or even in a cage. I don't like spiders. I really, really don't like spiders. So you'll never see me holding a spider. Okay, I don't even know what number we're on, but I will never live in a tall apartment or condo or anything like that. It's not that I don't like condos or apartments. I just will never live um, up on a high floor, if that makes sense. I don't know. I get kind of, not like claustrophobic, maybe, I guess. I'm not a big fan of elevators in general. I've, I've had them break down on me and been stuck in elevators. And I think that has a lot to do with my fear, but I just don't like the idea of being, like if, if some, I don't know, big catastrophe were to happen, I need to get out of my living area. I don't like the idea of being stuck up high. 
if that makes sense. So I will always be in a building where I have access to ground floor where I can get out if I need to get out. Hope that made sense. All right, next one. <laughs> this is so random. And I only thought about it because I just filmed um, a haul, a body shop haul on my beauty channel. But the body shop has amazing sales and they have them like every three or four days. It's absolutely insane. Like they're so frequent, I get their emails. So I will never, ever pay full price at the body shop. I can guarantee you that because I see how often their sales happen and how great their sales are. I don't know how they get away with it, honestly, but there, there is no reason, even if I run out of something and I didn't plan ahead, I'll wait the three or four days until the next sale comes up and buy it on sale. So I will never, ever pay full price at the body shop. And I think this is number seven. I was thinking of piercings, um, and I've had a number of piercings in my lifetime, still have some, don't have others, but one piercing, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick, one piercing in particular that I don't think I will ever be getting is my belly button pierce. And it's funny, because growing up as a teenager, I totally wanted my belly button pierce, I just didn't have the guts to do it. I don't know, I pierced other things that supposedly are more painful, but when it comes to my belly button, the thought of a needle going through it really just, I don't know, I just felt like I was going to throw up or something like that. It was like the most grossest feeling to me, the idea of getting my belly button pierced. I just a big wuss when it comes to that. So I never did it as a teenager and now obviously I'm a mom and um, I've had kids and my belly is not quite the same and I, there's just a whole bunch of reasons why I will never get my belly button pierced. And number eight, I will never go hunting. And it's not that I have anything against hunting. Um, I eat meat myself. I understand that that has to happen in order for me to be able to eat meat. And I understand that if you go hunting, it's um, you're eating more free range, probably healthier meats in general. And I'm all for that. But I will never join somebody on a hunting trip because I just don't like seeing dead things. Not just dead animals. Anything dead um, obviously just really creeps me out. I just... I don't know, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies and um, I just don't want to be around it. Not that I have anything against it. I just don't think you'll ever find me going hunting in any capacity. So yeah, that's the eight things I don't believe I'll ever do in this lifetime. Um, I will leave some people down below that I specifically tag in the comments, so if you read those. And of course I tag all of you, so I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, bye.